OK, we have some breaking news for you now in relation to Madeleine McCann. Uh, news just in that in the last few moments, the European Court of Human Rights has ruled that the parents of Madeleine McCann were wronged, were not wronged by the Portuguese court system. So they have lost that appeal. Kate and Jerry McCann have issued uh, a libel case against the former policeman Gonzalo Amaral for accusing them of being involved in Madeleine's disappearance in 2007. And they could now be forced to pay huge costs. Let's get some analysis from our home and security editor Mark White. Okay, so this is a big deal for the McCanns then. This has been a long-running legal argument and it's gone right to the top now. Uh, uh, they'll be absolutely devastated. This has been 14 years of legal battle uh, with initially this former detective in charge of the initial investigation. He was taken off that case uh, shortly after the uh, disappearance. A 27-year veteran went on then to write a book just a year later uh, and the controversy ever since has been, you know, the allegations that he's made in the book claiming that effectively Madeleine uh, McCann's parents uh, lied uh, and covered up the death of their daughter. Now, they say that that, of course, is reputationally damaging, that it damages the hunt for their daughter, which is still ongoing, we know. Mm -hmm. um, and they initially won that. They took it to court in Portugal. They won that uh, action against this detective, further former detective. Further copies of the book were then suspended. Uh, but then he successfully appealed up into higher courts in Portugal, eventually the Supreme Court in Portugal, uh, which ruled against the McCanns and the £436,000 in damages that they were claiming uh, they clearly didn't get. So this is why they have, in recent years, been fighting through the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. Uh, and now they have ruled. Um, they had appealed through that um, article, the right to uh, private or family life, uh, in terms of... Uh, the de reputational damage that that has caused the family. Um, but the court says in its judgment just released just now that they don't believe that they were wronged by the Portuguese government because it's the Portuguese government because of this decision at the Supreme Court that they were taking to court. Right, OK, so it's not about the specific allegations made in the book Truth of a Lie, but about the action of the government. I suppose that's a really important distinction. But what is terrible news for the McCann family, on top, of course, of the disappearance of their daughter, is they now have to pay all of these legal costs. Yeah, uh, a very significant legal, co legal cost. We don't know uh, the exact figure, but it could be many thousands of pounds because this has been a multi-year uh, process through the European courts. So suggestions that they might have to dip into the Madeleine McCann fund, which is running, according to accounts, at £931,000 at the moment. They may crowdfund. I'm not sure how they would pay for it. They haven't commented yet on this decision, but they will be bitterly disappointed. Yeah, and so that, that is terrible news. This 14-year battle then has come uh, to an unsuccessful end for them in Strasbourg, as you say this morning, uh, with the European Court of Human Rights rejecting that appeal uh, against uh, the Portuguese government. Thank you very much. Can, can, can you just put it in, in oh, simple terms for us? In terms of here you have a bereaved mother and father who the accusation is made you have to take what some responsibility or you were responsible for your child um, disappearing. And how, I mean, obviously anybody who was accused of that would sue. And um, there are people, there are conspiracy theorists out there who have their own opinions about the McCanns. The McCanns have to live with this terrible pain. But I was just wondering if you could just put that in, in terms so that people understand what they did and what happened to them as a result in terms of that court case. Well... Why don't I put it in these terms? Mm -hmm. uh, any active police officer I've ever spoken to in the United Kingdom, not one of them believes that the McCanns were responsible in any way, shape or form yeah. for their daughter's disappearance and potential murder because mm -hmm. that's now what it's been treated as. So I sort as. of don't understand how they've lost this case. Uh, they lost the case because the uh, initial Portuguese uh, court decision actually went in their favour, uh, as is... So often the case with court cases, you can appeal up to a higher court. That has happened in Portugal. This detective has uh, successfully, former detective, has successfully appealed, Eamon, that he has the right of freedom of speech and freedom of expression. The, those are his sincerely 
held views uh, and they're put in paper form and the, the, the court in Portugal have agreed with him. Uh, the, the Supreme Court in Portugal agreed with them. Uh, the McCanns were then suing the Supreme Court. The European Court of Human Rights have come uh, now with this conclusion many years later to say that actually, you know, they were, they were not wronged by that decision by the Supreme Court. It's uh, difficult to see where on earth the McCanns could go from here other than having to pay now these legal costs. We should say, as far as the investigation is concerned, after all these years, it's still an active investigation. You remember just recently we had uh, German and Portuguese authorities now coming out and saying that this uh, man, this convicted paedophile Christian B, uh, who is serving a sentence for rape in Germany, yeah. was the prime suspect. He was around Pride de Luz at the time in 2007 when Madeleine McCann disappeared. They tracked and triangulated mobile phone reception to him making a call uh, just minutes uh, from the time that uh, Madeleine McCann disappeared and only a mile or two away from the scene where she disappeared mm -hmm. uh, and lots of other evidence as well. He had apparently confessed to someone in a bar that uh, he'd uh, been responsible for the abduction and murder of this young girl. Just think the human side of all of this. The police in the UK don't believe they had anything to do with their child's disappearance. Um, they have to live with that pain and that loss. And now, on top of all of that... It's outrageous. They, they are hit with million-pound costs and, Awful. and fines. Awful. Yeah. What I, more I, suffering do they need to endure? Every the day they will think about the Well, listen, the, there are plenty of conspiracy theorists yeah. out there, and I have no doubt that in your inbox oh, and I'm my sure. inbox and yeah. Twitter feed, there will be plenty of people voicing those very I mean, stridently held e views e of even, what they believe even in the if they, uh, you know, they, they, there was an accusation that they were careless so they should have been with their children uh, as opposed to uh, looking at them from afar or whatever. They know that. They don't need to be told that. Well, they have to live with that. Exactly. I was going to say that. You know, that, that, that perhaps is a justified argument. You know, why on earth was this young girl left in in a room hundreds of metres away from where they were actually dining. Where, was she properly supervised? Clearly not. Uh, but you're right, they will have beaten themselves up day in, day out, year after yeah. year, for that decision that they made, that fateful decision. Uh, it doesn't need people, Twitter trolls and the like. Just don't they are just fat, they're one. trolls, and just, you shouldn't just, give any more thought, really, to conspiracy yeah. theories. But thoughts go out to Kate and Jerry, and one wonders if they'll try and find some other legal avenue in all of this, but it feels as... I'm not sure where they can go. The no European Court of Human Rights really, I think, is pretty much exhausted. Oh, OK, Thanks, thank you for Thanks. that, Thanks that for breaking news that for us yeah. this hour.